All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, let me take my headphones off. Sorry about that. Okay, so the function that we created in the last video, let's go ahead and implement that on our login.php page. What am I doing? Sorry, I just got back from lunch. Okay, um, we just created... Opens up in an external browser, of course. Okay, so let's go ahead and create this function right here. Let's go, or let, we've already created it, but let's go ahead and implement this on our login.php page. So if somebody logs in, they can bypass the security and assume that they have already been with us. So let's go ahead and create that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my root folder for my includes folder. And let's go ahead and go to login.php. Let's open this bad boy up. Okay, so let's look at this. Require once, clues and form. Form functions. If that is that. Okay, because our closing tag for this PHP tag is down here. Okay, so in here, let's drop down a few lines. What I'm going to do is let's go ahead and just pull that if statement back over here. So. There's no if statement. We got to go ahead and create our if statements. Let's go ahead and put this in right here. Say if. Get our parameters out. And again, I'm going to put my form functions below our new function. Let's go ahead and put this right. Here, include once. Why does this look crooked? Oh, it's because we got to get our PHP tags and we will put them back up here. Okay, let me look at this. If logged in, return to. Mm. Return to no. We'll just get of our rid of our return statement. That's not necessary right here. Redirect to faculty.php. So what this is saying is that if we're already logged in and we passed our security test, then we're going to run this function. This function is just pretty much saying if you're not logged in, redirect to login. And if you are logged in, go straight to our faculty.php page. So make sure your code looks like this. I think that's it for this video because in the next video, we're going to work on our logout page. So I don't want to jump into that right now. And the log, the log, the logout page is one of the last things that we're going to be doing. So make sure your login.php page is configured like this so the admin users that are correct and they're authorized to get in don't have a problem, they don't get bounced around, and they don't uh, get redirected back out, back to the login page. If they're in and we like them, they should be directed to our faculty.php page. All right, guys, good luck with this. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video when we finally start talking about our logout page.